I've often had people come to me and say, When it's all right for you, you're talented. With regards to my art, with regards to my martial arts. And I find this laughable, I find this ridiculous, this idea that talent is some kind of gift that is just created and is only in certain people. That limits you, that puts the brakes on, that puts a ceiling on your development. Whenever you're turning around and saying, oh no, I couldn't because, all right? That because is that little passenger in your brain saying, oh no, we shouldn't be angry, no, no, it's going to not work. Oh, if you want to do it, do it. When I was born, I didn't come out with a pencil or a paintbrush because, let's be honest, that would have been a very difficult childbirth. But I was, I, you know, I was the same as everybody else. And I'm not saying I'm amazing or anything like that. It's far from it. Thinking about this this afternoon, all I've done, I've worked hard, I've worked consistently, and I've enjoyed it. I've always thought it could be better, but I've never thought, oh, this is rubbish. I've always said to myself, that's nice, what's next? And I think we could all benefit from this idea of what's next. So look at what you've just produced. How can you make it better? Think about it. Ask for advice from your friends. If you know an artist that you really respect, ask them. If you follow me on Instagram and you want to share some artwork with me on that, genuinely have not got a problem with that. Do not think that you are not capable of producing art that is going to one day just blow your socks off and sweep your hair back. You can do whatever you like. You can literally do anything. It was just bugging me. I've had a number of people turn around to me recently and go, There's all right for you, like. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a really ridiculous concept to kind of hang your life on. There, there is talent, but that talent comes from work, consistent work over time. If you are just going to tell yourself that there are certain people that are better than you because they are just born that way, then you put a ceiling on yourself and I think that's criminal. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you turn around and say that in front of your children, that is a really, really negative message. Now, I don't mean to be controversial there, but I do think it is really important that we have really positive talk in front of our kids. If we limit ourselves, then we limit them. We need them to genuinely go off and change the world. They can. if we give them that belief. Sorry, I went on my high horse there, but I just wanted to share that little message with you. I think it's really important. We don't need to limit ourselves. We just need to make it good, you know, make ourselves feel good by producing something and doing something. And if you, if you love art and you're not doing it, then why not? Just do it. Pick up a sketchbook and boom, have a go. If you want to sing, if you want to play guitar, if you've got any ambition like that, then just do it. Don't worry about anybody else. Just do it. Short-term thinking is emotional thinking. It's the biscuit. It's the cookie. It's the not going to the dojo or the gym or going for that run because it's raining outside and the sofa looks nice. But you know what I mean? It is comfort-based. It's emotion-based. We want to think long-term. We want to think intrinsic rewards. So we need to think if I do it now, if I put the effort in now, if I put the practice in now, over time, I'm going to get better. I love looking at some of the old stuff that I've produced and to what I do now. And I think it's marvelous. I love to see the progress that I've made. But once two rounds, he said to myself, well, no, there's other artists out there that are better than me. Done. That little doubt, that little seed of doubt, takes root. It's a joy thief. We don't need that. There's not, there's not enough joy in the world. And if you can enhance your life by picking up a pencil or drawing, then why don't you? If you'd like to accompany me on my artistic journey, then why not subscribe? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day today. And whatever you do, make some art.